Thanks again for choosing Swift. In our last video, we covered generating a homeowner's quote in detail. In this video, we'll focus on the next step, finding a policy. To get started, head to swift.com. Double check that you're logged in so you can access your quote history and save new quotes. To begin binding a policy, you have two options, create a new quote or retrieve an existing one. To create one, Search for and select the correct address, then click Get Quote. To retrieve a quote, first navigate to the History page. You can search for previous quotes and policies here, and they are listed in chronological order below. In the table, if there is a magnifying glass next to the address, that means this is a quote. If there's a check mark, that means the policy is bound. But to reopen an existing quote, search for it in the search bar above, and when it comes up, click the address link to open up the quote. To review the details or make changes to the quote, click Customize. When you're done and ready to bind, click Buy. You may have to verify the loss history and square footage before proceeding. Next, you'll choose the payment type and enter some important details. We accept all major credit cards, debit cards, escrow, and e-check payments. Note that all payment types are recurring so be sure to notify your customers and don't use your agency account to pay. After choosing the payment method and type, enter the coverage start date. You may choose an effective date up to 60 days in the future. Next, add the primary insured information. If you get this far and realize you need to change the payment type, just click the Change Payment Type link, select the new type, and all the info you entered before will be saved. To add an additional insured, click the plus additional insured button and enter the first and last name. Or if adding a trust or LLC, enter the full business name in the first name field. You can add more by clicking the button again, and you can remove them using the green X to the right of the last name field. Next, verify that the customer billing address is correct. You may need to update it if it's different from the property address. Finally, add the mortgage information. Clicking inside the bank name box brings up banks already in our system. For example, if I choose the first bank, the fax number and address will autofill below, so all I need to add is the loan number. But if the bank isn't listed yet, you'll need to fill it in manually. And if you've chosen escrow payments for the policy, be sure to include the correct mortgagee fax number here. This is important for billing, so don't forget. Also, if the home is a new purchase, be sure to check the box next to This is a new purchase. This will ensure that we don't include claims on the property that occurred before the new owner purchased it. If this is your first time binding a policy with Swift, be sure to read through the terms and conditions. Clicking the text next to the checkbox will open the terms in a new tab for you to review. When you're done, return to the previous tab, check the box, and click Buy to finish up. Now, if you navigate back to your history page, you'll notice your newly purchased policy appears at the top of the list with a green checkmark designating it as purchased. From here, you can download the policy PDF, invoice, and account receipt from the column on the far right. And that's it! We hope you enjoyed this overview of binding a policy. 
Our next video will cover how to make policy endorsements and other requests. See you next time.